Ever. OK. And nothing. No, I don't know if you can feel it at home, but the atmosphere is suddenly got very... It's got very tense. It's got very tense. There's a chill in the air. Cos we're sitting next to that. No, not you. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. <laughs> <laughs> I meant, I meant, I meant that. I meant that painting. Well, do you know what? It's it's not the first time I've felt this sort of chilling atmosphere. This is your first encounter is, with the painting. Yeah. But I actually got up close and personal with the portrait earlier this year over the summer and it had just been returned to the charity shop several times by everyone that had owned it because it, they've had really weird, spooky experiences. But today it's back. I don't like it. It's looking at us. It is. Yeah. It is Wherever looking, you stand, yeah. it looks at you. Yeah, yeah. It's um, look. It, that noise. <laughs> it's got uh, new owners. Very brave new owners. Uh, they've already experienced its wrath. James and Shannon are here at the at the moment. <laughs> James. I mean, straight away we need to explain what happened and is it at the fault of that scary painting? <laughs> Well, um, to be honest with you, I've got to start at the very beginning with the whole story of the painting. Where yes, it came do, from, do. To be honest with you, to make it all come into context. But uh, we, we very much were getting ready for our Halloween show, um, Circus, which is very much our Halloween show at London Bridge experience this year. And we were looking for props, trying to get ideas of what we we're going to do. And this is at the London Bridge experience. That's it, yeah, it? yeah. And um, I was given the task to find props, and we thought, well, let's look online. And we came across this painting this wonderful cursed painting, um, and we thought, well, let's add a bit of, uh, bit of fun into the show and let's, let's bid for it and let's try and buy it. OK. Um, we won it. <laughs> um, and uh, I was dispatched down to uh, Hastings to go and retrieve the painting. Um, and uh, after a very interesting journey down there, um, I was greeted by, by Zoe, the old owner, who, Zoe, who's, who's I met on this show. I believe that's correct. Um, and, and, we and we should you? say, <laughs> we should say that you found it on eBay, didn't you? But you actually spent quite a lot more on the painting than Zoe originally bought it for at the charity shop. That's correct. We bought it for sixteen hundred pounds. Um, it was a big, big, big bit of the budget, but um, we thought that uh, we thought so it would be a good item to have in the show and in in the attraction. So we thought we'd uh, bring it home. So, so tell us what happens when you arrive at Zoe's house. It all sort of went a little bit wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, first of all, uh, Zoe digs it out from the back of a cupboard. Um, and it was very obvious that she didn't really want it on public show. And she had a dog that was just going absolutely mad, barking at the, at the painting. It was all wrapped up in cardboard and paper. And it was very much, she kept on saying, do you know what you're getting yourselves in for? You know what, you, you know what you're getting yourselves in for? I mean, yeah, OK, whatever. So, uh, so yeah, so uh, I pick up the painting and return it to the car and I head off from Hastings back up to London. Um, unfortunately, literally, my car was breaking down on the way back from Hastings to London. Um, the electrics in the car just kept on failing. I and your car was perfectly fine before this? Absolutely fine, absolutely fine. Um, no problems at all. Um, drove down there absolutely fine. It was the journey back that was the problem. So finally get back to London, and um, after having a very eventful journey, um, dropped the painting off into the attraction, and uh, we decided that we were going to open the painting. Um, <laughs> well, we had a well. When we first un unwrapped the painting and pulled it out, I think you were the first one to notice. Yeah, there was a. It, so in the middle of her forehead, there was just like a, a bead of water just sitting there. Oh. And oh, we was like, what? what? <laughs> where where would that even come from? And then I just wiped it off, and then, then that was it. But it was just, it was all packaged up, and then that was just okay. sitting there as we opened it. It was a bit strange. And then, this happens. Well, then, we're not this at that not point. Oh, right. No, 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 there was something in the office after you opened it, things started the... going wrong in the office. Well, the, the Wi Fi went up the creek. Um... Yeah, we had problems with our Wi Fi, our TVs just kept turning off for no yeah. reason, like in the beer killer that we've got upstairs. It was all just very bizarre mm. that was going on. Mo mobile phones weren't working. Yeah. It seemed to have this sort of funny aura that sort of came with it. Now, I have to be honest with you, we have had things happen at London Bridge Experience before, <laughs> um, but when she came on site, well... It just made it worse. It got turbocharged. Um, we've had staff members coming out saying that they've been chased by shadows down our stairwells, um, hearing noises in the, in, in the attraction. 
Um, we've even had an incident even yesterday in Slammers, which is our uh, our cocktail bar, where we have um, uh, handcuffs all on the wall. And yeah, it's prison all... themed. So it's not just normal sounds stuff. lovely. Absolutely. It's great. For a cocktail, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually saw Shannon some sort of figure. Yeah. So where we put her is in our like main reception area, and she was up on the wall. Um, and I was opening up in the morning. It was just me in the building, and I was just turning the tills on as you do. And out the corner of my eye, I saw this just black, like, swoosh. And I looked like that, and it just went through the door that was closed next to me, but it just looked like a like an end of a skirt sort of thing. Okay. It was really strange, and it was, like, just off the floor. It was very bizarre. And I've never seen anything since then in that area. Um, why, why invite this trouble into your life? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> well, why not? Well, as, 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 as I said, we, 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 we had Circus, which is our, our Halloween show. It's all about cursed circus. And we mm -hmm. thought, well, bringing a cursed painting into the, into the building, it'd be, mm -hmm. it'd be interesting. Um, but certainly interesting. It certainly yeah. was. Um, but <laughs> she so, did this to your arm, though, right? We think. Well, I, I escaped. I escaped the attraction to go on holiday. Um, just after all this was going on, so I thought, well, let's get away. I went on holiday. And unfortunately, on holiday, I, I've hurt my shoulder. Um, return journey on a ferry. Unfortunately, there was a death on the ferry. Oh. So, uh, so certainly it sort of seemed to follow me, and the car that I was with was the car that picked, it, picked her up in. So, uh, so yeah, ah, so um, I so don't know if it's... there was a weird energy in the car. Possibly has lingered on with, with me with the car. Uh, Shannon, um, what do you believe that, you know, you saw the swishing past the door? <laughs> what do you believe that that could be? I ain't got a clue. <laughs> 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 what would you think that is? I mean, I was alone in the building on my own, and then I just see this. It's her ghost. <laughs> James, I don't know. I don't James, know. James, 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 Really yeah, nervous. some of they them want, don't they like want her it. Gone. We've had people that work in the area that she's in, and they're like, we feel like we're being watched all the time, and stuff like that. But some people, they're not affected by it, like. Even though I saw that, I'm not affected by it, it doesn't bother me. Whereas a lot right. of people, they just don't like it. They feel like they're being watched it's or there's someone creepy. behind them all the time. Um, so, I, I don't know, maybe it picks and chooses. Oh, well, let's hope Sorry. it's not choosing us today. I don't like it. I could do without it. I, I don't do like it. it. It's looking at us and you're I don't like it. You're actually inviting people down to come and... Have a look at Absolutely. her if you dare, aren't you? Well, she's going to be on a show with us down at London Bridge. Well, originally we thought, well, we were going to actually um, put her in a competition for someone to win, but uh, after all these things happened, I'm not sure anyone would enter it, James. Well, I'm totally honest. Well, that, that's part of the reason why I, and I, think, I think also keeping the curse with us, I think, is a wise thing to do. I think, but uh, but no, we have her on show at London Bridge Experience over Halloween, and she's going to have a permanent home with us there. So uh, well, certainly, anyone that's brave enough to come in and uh, experience her face to face, she'll be on show down. Well, you guys are very. Brave, you know they're blaming sure. us for releasing the curse. But you actually, because you were here, uh, you it opened is, it. I'm telling you, it's nothing to do so... with me. I don't even like to look in the direction. You're and very the brave. The only Thank way you. to cure the curse, Shan, <laughs> is, is this right? Is for Rochelle to spend the time, the, the time in the dungeon with the painting on her own overnight. I That's how you break the curse. I'll, 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 I'll tell you what. Certainly, I'll be, I'm happy to place that challenge on the table to you if you're brave enough to come down to London Bridge Experience to come and do that. Can I just tell you now, I'm not brave enough. So I will squash <laughs> that challenge immediately. I'm happy to admit I'm not brave. Break the curse, Rochelle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Can we move on? Right, we're going to need some autumn comfort.